So a parabola is a curve that opens downward or upward. There are some important points in a parabola. There's the vertex, which is the lowest or highest point of the curve. There's a y-intercept, and then there's the x-intercept. Three forms that we can express the parabola in is called the standard form, the factor form, and the vertex form. The standard form looks like this. is the number times x squared plus or minus another number times x plus or minus another number. That last number is the y-intercept. The second form is the factor form. It's a bubble times a bubble, and sometimes there's a number in front is useful because you can find the x-intercepts just by looking at it. First, you look at one bubble at a time. You look at this number and divide it by this number and then take the opposite sign. For example, it's going to be negative 3 over 2. Then you change it to positive 3 over 2. Now for this bubble, you take this number 2, divide by 1. If you, if you take the opposite sign, then it becomes negative 2. Therefore, our x-intercepts are 3 over 2 and negative 2. The third form is vertex form. It looks like this. I will talk more about this in another video. Now all of these forms can be converted into one another. We can change this into this, 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 la 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 la. In all of these forms, the number at the front tell you two things. Number one, how skinny or fat it is. Number two, if it opens upwards or downwards. So. The bigger the number, the skinnier it is. The smaller the number, the fatter it is. So if I replace my 2 with a bigger number, let's say 5, it's going to be skinnier. If it was 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, it'll be even more skinnier. If I replace it with a smaller number, let's say 1, it'll be fatter. If I replace it with an even smaller number, it'll be like 1, 1, 1 over 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. It'll be super fat, you know. The problem is so fat, it must eat a lot of McDonald's, you know. Okay, so the, the sign is important too. If it's negative, then you're opening down. If positive, it'll be opening upwards. Now I'll ask you a question to see if you learn something. How would this graph look like?